I've lived this game for three decades, kid. I know football. Those men wanted to win, just like you do. And you can feed to the players and to the fans with that sacrifice and glory and grand old man of a game crap. Like you sold it good and people bought it. But I've been there, coach. I've seen a long line of guys like you from college with that bullshit ass hat to our speech. It's bullshit, huh? Yeah, it is. And you know it is. Because it's really all about money. The fat cat boots are sitting in the sky boxes and coaches up enough their salaries. And they all looking for the next black stud to get him in the top 10, put them in the ball games. It's just like the pros, except the pros. The field hands get paid. You don't trust anybody because of what happened to you in college? You knew the rules, Willie. You broke them. Broke them? How about break them? You broke them. That's how you broke them. Man, I lost a million dollar signing bonus because a fat cat booster gave me a $300 suit to take to a kid's wedding, and I didn't even know the guy. Hell, everybody had their hands out. How's a black man put to get to college when he don't have the money to get the clothes or go on a date? Hell, everybody was getting something, but it was me who they suspended. I dropped six rounds in a jab because of that. Shit, I could have been making millions of dollars if I could have been kissing that big ass that Julia kissing all the time. Now you talk about sacrifice. I sacrificed about $10 million is what I sacrificed. Just like the dumb rednecks, like your coach friend out of San Diego who makes me a cornerback because I got quick feet. It was him who separated my shoulder, fucked up my throwing arm, got me tackling 250 pound motherfuckers. I don't do that kind of shit. I was a great football player. No one ever gave me the time or the day or the season because I needed to heal that shoulder. Then I traded me without her there. Well, anybody but yourself, Willie. See, that's what a leader is about. The times that he's got to sacrifice because he has to lead by example, not by fear. Fear? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I go to bed for five fucking years. I hung not get there with nobody never gave a shit about me. I'm 26 years old, having my football life is over. Now I get one lousy son. Now you gonna tell me to go back to the bed, son? Cause you gotta sacrifice the greater glory of Cap Moody? Well, fuck you there, coach. I'm not buying your brand. Because you some scared old man who won't let me play my way. Because I might just win. Then when the fuck will your life all about?